to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a band-aid. Sorry if there's some noise in the background. It's my brother watching YouTube. Last time I did it in the playroom and my other brother was playing on the Xbox. But now I'm doing it in my room. And I've got Bob here. I just interviewed them all. If you haven't seen that video, it will probably be called How to Do Tattoos on Dolls. You can do them on yourself, but they're not good. And the, these band-aids aren't good for yourself. And we're probably going to do it on this arm right here. So, he's going to lay like that, so she can't see it. Um, so, the supplies you'll need are scissors, normal tape, but I've only got double-sided tape. It's fine if you use double-sided tape. Double-sided tape or normal tape works. Fabulous. Paper. Try to get one that's not bent. This one is bent. It's fine though. Paper. And a good selection of pens or pencils for you to choose from. So, let's start. First, you will need your paper and your scissors. Try it, you can cut a circle, any shape band I you want. I'm going to go, I um, might do two, or maybe three. I'll see much, how long it takes. So you, let's start. I'm going to snip like a corner off. I'm just going to snip that off and then I'll show you. I'm just snipping, snipping away. So I snipped a corner off of the piece of paper. Then I'll take this and I'll go down like that to about there. You can make them have leaky like one. But I'm just gonna make it this big. Then you can draw on it. So for now I'm gonna take Bob down because I'm doing it on a little table. There's a little table right here. I try to aim this down, I might not be able to. So if I can go on. No I can't. But yeah. So I've got my little piece of paper. I'm going to be drawing on the table. So what colour do you want, Bob? Blue. Wait, what colour? Blue. Blue? Okay, he wants blue. Do you want any, like, colours on it? Or, like, like shapes or anything? Can I have a rainbow? Rainbow. Do you want to start with blue and then go to all different colours? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. So if you want to do the same padding as I'm doing, just do lines. One line. Just like that. You can make them as thick as you want, but I'm just going to do it like that. This is a whiteboard marker, so I'm going to, even though it's very thick, I'm just going to make that a little bit thicker. Just like that, that's how I did it. Do it on a surface what doesn't matter if it gets dirty. Now, just take a different colour. Mm, what colour do you want now? You can choose. Oh, I can choose. Do not we just choose the rest? Okay, so what about, I'll do green, this green, this is a nice colour, I think Bobby likes this colour, do you want me to do this pattern, a blue green pattern, blue green, blue green, yes I do mama, <coughs> okay, <laughs> he's such a cutie. I'm going to do it thick again, just like I did for the whiteboard marker. I need the blue. You can either do a pattern, you can do anything, really. Mm, it's kind of hard to get the straight line, but there we go. This is how it's looking so far. It went, it's going blue, green, blue. 
Blue, green, blue. Blue, green, blue. Blue, green, blue. There's just a spider on my curtain. So I might move to a different spot and I will be back straight as I get preferred in a different spot because I hate spiders. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've got all my supplies. Remember, you need pen, pens. I'm doing a pattern. Remember, it's blue, green, blue, green. I'm a double side tape, paper. I'm going to put this little bit of paper on the table, some scissors, and some, a baby to put on. This is Bob. Bob. Bobby Bob Bob. So yeah, that was just a spider, so I've moved or, uh, over to here, it's just a different spot in my room. Still in my room. Okay, I'm going on again with my band-aid. I've got about one more green and then one more blue to go. A very thin blue, I guess, then. There's only a little bit of room left. There we go. There's my pattern. I really like how it turned out. Then take your paper. You don't have to do this step, but I was not going to. Then I thought, what about if I do it? That would be cool. Put it right, that's too big. It needs to be kind of small. Not too small that you can't even hold it. That's what sometimes happens. Just like that. And then you're gonna take your tape. Just this, just like this. I'm going to, this is double sided, remember? You don't have to use double sided. Um, I just whipped the piece off. I will put it and then whip that bit off and take off the top. So then it's double sided because it's not, not double sided right now. It's not going to work. Too steep. You can just fold your tape over, but I don't have normal, I don't think I've got normal tape in our house right now. And I'm only seven, remember that, so I'm not an adult. I do have brothers that are still here. I've got an older brother who likes this thing, so, yeah. So, like, hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. And I've got a younger brother, not a younger brother than me. He's ten and I'm seven. He's, no, he's 11. He's just turned 11. There we go. Just like that. It's double-sided tape. Right on there, you probably won't be able to see it. But there is. Stick it down. Just take your tape. Put a bit on here. Stick it down. Right there. Just like that. You don't, don't really decorate that. It's never really decorated. Then for me, I'm going to take... Not a big strand of this. Not a big strand, but a medium strand. Just like that. Which one's bigger? This one. I'm going to use this one. And this big. Yep. Put it across there, just like that. And make sure you're doing this all on the back. Just like that, and then I will take Bob and put it on him. Look, look at that, some homemade band aid. How long did that take? Nine minutes. Um, I might make about one more, just a different kind. So, and then you can just cover it up with their sleeve, or if they're having short sleeve, looks pretty cool. If you want, you can put tape on the other side just to make it 
perfect. I might do that just to use up this bit of this tape. Just like get it on his skin over his band-aid to the other side of the skin. If it's double-sided, it will stick to like his sleeve or something. But don't really worry about it. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Stick it. I just stuck it down. Just like that. Hold it for a closer. Just a second, you can see that. Just so it sticks perfectly on. And I can stick the sleeve down to it. That's my stuff there. <sighs> no, no, no. That needs a little band aid on. Right there. So I'm going to make one more band aid. You can make big chunky ones if you want. Um, I'm going to take my really small piece of paper. I need. So you need. Do you want to make one for Emma? Wait, do you want to make one for Jessica? I might make, you can make a whole container of that. Then whenever you need a band-aid, just go pick out a band-aid. And put it on your baby. Just like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should you make the yellow one for Jessica and the pink one for Emma? Yeah. Because these ones are going to be smaller. I reckon these ones are going to be quicker. Especially now we know. You can just stop here on the video if you want. Or you can keep going. I'm cutting this one into a circle. So I just cut a square so you didn't see that. I just cut a square. I just cut a square. This is kind of a really small square actually. Just a small square. Right here. That's now a hexagon. Okay, so I'm just going to get this shape. Just like that. Then you can put like a itty bitty of them on it. Um, I'm just going to put one more. Oh, I still need this sticker. This is tiny. Yeah, it's not cutting. It's not wanting to cut. It's too small. Too small for the scissors. It's too small for the scissors. Makes medicine go down. That's from. Wait, there's just a flip on these one. I cut off with the scissors. So I'm so sorry. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. Now oh, I just dropped it. Let me see. Here, you can't even see it. There, that. I need a piece of this. Just a little one. Oh, it already came off. Okay. There we go. Here we go. There we go. Just like that. Then put double sided tape. Wait, no, then draw on it. I, I forgot to draw on it. I'm just going to colour this one in fully yellow. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me just finish it. I'm nearly done. I'm not doing a pattern for this one. So I'm so close. There's a table right here. Right there. It's a table. There's, where's my band aid gone? The band aid is. No, I don't know. Where my, where's my band aid from? Well, I'll show you in a minute. So, yeah, there's a table though. So that's why I'm like doing it. Okay. The yellow. Then take. Oh, just stuck to me. Stick a little piece of double sided tape or normal tape. Oh, this came up on the table. Oh, that's supposed to happen. Okay, I'll just get a little piece. Just a little piece. That much. Just got this much. Not for that whole one. Don't Actually, yes, it is for this whole one. I'm just going to put that one like that. Peel the other side off. Like that, then I'm going to. So now you've got a bit hanging down. I'm going to fold it around. It's like a little ball on there. And then this one's Jessica's, but I'm just going to put it up on Bob just to hold it. There's a little cut there. 
one more band aid. Um, I'll make one last band aid. Just, I'll make a big chunky one this time. Oh, three different band aids. This is a big chunky. Um, a piece of this. About this big, no, that's small. That. Yep, I'm putting this on. Big on, on this big one, band aid. And we get to the biggest one. Oh, I just dropped it. Okay. So I need double sided tape. Where's the double sided tape? Double sided tape, double sided tape. You know, I use a lot again for this one. I'm gonna colour it once I put this one on. Okay, there we go. Well then, <laughs> um, just like that. Sorry about the noise. I'm colouring it red for Emma. It's going to be a red one. Kind of hard to colour once you put the thing on. Especially in pencil. This is pencil. Sorry about the noise in the background. Better with pen, just saying. You don't have to do the last one, so I'm just going to show you. I'm doing it for you. Okay, so. Coloured it. I just paused it because we're going to go out soon, so I'm just going to finish this video. I just asked my mum if we were going to go out. She said yes. Um, now what do I need? I forgot. Okay, so I need double sided tape. Okay, here's some. Oh, wait, no, that's got already came off. Okay. Double sided tape. I'm going to use this much, maybe even. I'm going to use a little bit more than this. There we go. And this can go on Bob's leg just to hold it. That one you probably take a bit of double sided tape. That, that bit, that's a little bit done. Uh, it's not too big. I'll go on Emma. Whoops. Um. Wow. So, thanks for watching. Please click the like and subscribe. And in and if the comment, comments are turned on, let me know if you've made these band aids, if they work, and your baby's name. So, I hope you enjoyed and try to make these band aids. Really easy, I'll remind you what you need. You need paper, pens, double sided tape, or double sided tape, and scissors. And scissors. That's all you need for this thing, and it's really easy. Bye!